Hello. Testing one, two, three. Testing. Hello. 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 Let me just turn down this volume just a little bit. Alright, this is gonna be for the 801. Um, for the 801 test, we're gonna be going over some laptop questions that you might encounter in the 801. Hopefully, this helps you and helps me as I review for the 801. Okay, let's begin. The time limit is 40 minutes for this. Um, for this um, uh, test. And we will be covering laptops. All right, let's uh, begin. What would you normally install into a Type 2 PCMCIA slot on a laptop? Um, I'll probably install a modem and a NIC, RAM that's inwardly, hard drive that's also inwardly. Oh, you can install hard drive externally, but uh, for PCMCIA, I'll say modem and NIC. Yes, and I am right. Input output devices such as modems and NICs, network interface cards, network adapters are the most commonly type 2 devices. Hard drives would normally be installed internally, but could also be connected to a USB and Firewire port. RAM is installed internally. So what would you normally install into a Type 2 PCM CIA slot on a laptop? You would install a modem and a NIC in those slots. Next question. Um, what would you, um, what does adding more RAM to a laptop that uses shared video memory do to that laptop? Nothing. Improve video, video performance. Improve system performance. Yes. Increase RAM speed. I would say improve system performance. Um, yeah. Remember, you could pause this to make sure you, you read everything um, of why the answer is that answer. Um, okay. It says increasing the amount of RAM on a laptop or a PC improves general system performance. To improve video performance, you would um, need to either upgrade the video card or lower the system uh, or lower some of the video settings. So you would either upgrade the video card or uh, lower the video settings. The fact that the laptop uses shared video doesn't come into play. The shared video will use a finite, finite amount of RAM on a laptop. Adding more RAM won't change the amount of shared video used. However, some laptops allow you to increase this setting within the BIOS. This is conjuring with adding RAM. Um, might improve video performance as well. So what does adding more RAM on a laptop to a laptop that uses shared video memory do for that for that laptop? It improves system performance. All right. A customer can barely hear sound from the speaker on her laptop. What should you do first? Install a new sound driver, tap the speaker, search for volume wheel key, reinstall windows. I'll see search for volume wheel key. So a, a customer can barely hear the sound from the speakers on her laptop. What should you do? Search for a volume wheel key. <laughs> Sometimes the volume will on older laptops can be heard to find and could be in the lowest position which might still make a slight audible noise. On a new on newer laptops, the volume is usually controlled by pressing the FN key and the volume up or volume down key simultaneously. Installing a new sound driver isn't necessary yet. Always check the physical volume first and then check if the volume is low um, or the sound is muted in Windows. Tapping the speakers is an interesting idea but it has no place in this discussion. If a speaker is loose it is often it, it will often make scratchy noises however speakers rarely become loose on 
on today's laptops um, reinstalling Windows is um, the last thing you want to do uh, check the simple solutions when troubleshooting problems such as uh, no audio or video so a customer can barely hear the sound from the speakers on her laptop what should you do first you should search for a volume will key next um, Eric uses an external monitor with his laptop. He tells you that his laptop will boot, but the system won't display anything on the external screen. Which of the following enables the display? Connect the laptop to another um, external monitor. Um, press the FN screen keys on one more times until the screen appears. Press the enter and escape key while the laptop is booting, or lastly, press the FN key while the laptop is booting out say is this one press the FN key and, and screen keys you know um, one or more times until the screen appears I think that's the answer yes it is um, so the screen keys also known as the display toggle is one of the keys available when you use the function FN key um, this enables you to switch between a laptop's display um, and external display or if you wanted to use both if the display toggle doesn't work then try another external monitor no other key combinations perform this task hold up Hmm, let me uh fast forward this. Oh, that sounds better. So Eric uses an external monitor monitor with his laptop. He tells you that his laptop will boot, but the system won't display anything on the external screen. Which of the following enables the the display? Um, the answer was B. Press the FN and the screen keys one or more times until the screen appears. Why well, I really like this beat right here. All right, let's go to the next question. Um, which key on the laptop aids in switching to an external monitor? Well, that's the same thing as we just learned. The FN key. Yep, that's correct. Let's go to the next question. <laughs> You use your laptop often. What is is a simple free way to keep your laptop running cool? Um, keep the laptop turned off whenever possible. Answer D. Answer C. Direct a fan at the laptop. Um, answer B. Put the laptop in the freezer when it is not in use. Uh, answer A. Keep the laptop on a flat surface. I'll go with answer A. Keep the um, laptop on a flat surface. By keeping it on a flat surface, it stops it from getting um, overly hot, and it helps keep it cool. So that is the answer, and it's correct. Um, you can stop and pause this and read um, the uh, explanation of the answers below in um, yellow. All right, next question. Which of the following are typical names for expansion buses on laptops? Expansion buses. Wh which of the following? Are typical names for expansion buses on laptop expansion buses um, sodium that's for inside the laptop so I don't think you would put us sodium would go with an expansion you know to I don't think sodium should be a typical name for an expansion bus um, for laptops AGP that I know that stands for something else that that is the um, predecessor to uh, PCIE so I, I, I wouldn't say AGP I would say um, express card and PC card express card and PC card so which of the following are typical names for expansion buses on laptops express card and PC cards are typical names for expansion buses on laptops express card and PC card all right, next question. Oh, let me check. Is it correct? It is correct. So you can pause this and read this. 
or just glance over it real quick. All right, I'm gonna head to the next question. So what is the most commonly used battery type in a laptop? I'm gonna go with lithium ion because I believe that's the same thing. Um, lithium ion is the same thing I believe in PCs, uh, desktop PCs. So I'm, I'll say it's just the same in laptops. Let's, let, let me try my luck. Yes, I am correct. Lithium ion. So what is the most common battery type in laptops? Let, lithium ion. You would most likely find this type of display on a laptop. LCD. LCD is the most famous and everybody uses LCD for, for both desktop PCs and for both laptops. Let me go to the next one. You could pause this and read this by the way. Um, which is the most common type of RAM architecture used by laptops? SODIMS. SODIMS stands for um, small outline dual inline memory module small outline dual inline memory module i think i'm right so then small outline dual inline memory module awesome so laptops mostly use so um desktop computers use um sd ram ddr ram dims and rd ram all right let me go to the next uh question what are two important factors when purchasing a replacement laptop AC adapter? What are two important factors when purchasing a replacement AC adapter? Um, a replacement AC adapter. I'll say current and voltage. Current and voltage. Connector size and shape. The battery type. Uh, inverter type. Not really. Let me see if I am right. And by the way, this is the last um, question for uh, the laptops. Um, and it says that the answer is um, A and B, which I was right about. Make sure to purchase an AC adapter that is a true replacement. This can be found on the laptop manufacturer's website. When you enter your model number and webs the website, will tell you everything you need to know about the current voltage connector type the battery and AC adapter do need to work in conjunction with each other because of this they both need to be compatible with the laptop the AC adapter inverter is simply an inverter it converts power to AC to DC however there is another inverter in the laptop it powers the display this question is now referring to that but if you are ever troubleshooting in a display the inverter type is very important oh I really like this beat all right so what are two important factors when purchasing a replacement laptop AC adapter the current and voltage the current size um, connector size and, and shape so the connector size and shape and the current and voltage are two important factors when purchasing or replacing a laptop AC adapter. All right, let's end the exam because that's about the last question. And 100% pass, we got every single one right. So hopefully um, this was useful and uh, you enjoyed this. And um, hopefully you could review this uh, before you take your 801. Um, you might encounter some of these questions um, when it comes to laptops which uh, the 801 does cover so maybe review this a couple of times make sure you have a firm grasp of all these um, questions and uh, answers and make sure you understand all these questions and answers because they might show up in the 801 uh, I hope you liked this video sub subscribe like uh, uh, favorite it whatever uh, you wish to do um, and bye